Hey guys, how's it going? It's been six months since I made a video. Um, a lot has happened in six months when you can really be hyper focused on, you know, your goals and your dreams. Uh, you can get a lot done. And um, if you try to get the most out of your day rather than get through the day, um, I feel like that's when your life really starts to change, you know. Um, <clears throat> some people go to work or they do nothing or they go to work. And then after when they're done work, they like to relax and you know uh, de-stress or uh, just you know do whatever whatever they want but they're not really focused on any specific thing other than watching tv or watching a movie or playing video games and all that all that stuff but the thing when you do that is it really uh first of all you're building someone else's dream and you're not really focusing on yourself um, you're not really focusing on the progress. You're not focusing on how you can evolve. You're not focusing on how you can learn a new skill. You're not focusing on, you know, how you can increase your income. Um, and those are really important. You know, um, a lot of things happen in our life. And if you're not preparing yourself on that scale, um, you're just going to fall behind. Like, and that's the, that's the pure truth. If you're not focused on evolution each day and how you can get 1% better each day, you're going to fall behind because if things continually, you know, get more expensive with inflation and, um, you know, the world evolves in the way it does and you're not evolving with those things, you're just going to fall behind. And that's the reality. If you're not investing your money, if you're not saving money for a rainy day, if you're not, you know, learning your skills um, in case something were to happen to you, um, you're just going to be, you're going to be in a tough situation. You got, you got to have the mentality of think winter all year round. Me and my buddies, that's what we do. You know, like it's the mentality. It's the hustler's mentality. You hustle all year round, no matter what. No matter if it's a nice day, no matter if it's a cold day, you get out there and you do it because the opportunity is not always gonna be there. And that's the reality of it. And when you hustle every single day and you're focusing, focusing on yourself, you're focusing on your finances, you're focusing on your health, you're focusing on your relationships, all these things, the winter can represent all these things. So, it, you know, like winter all year round means Take care of your relationships, take care of your finances, take care of your health, take care of your family, all these things. Because if you don't, one day something's going to happen. And if it, if all these things are coming at you from different directions, you're not going to be prepared and you're going to panic. And then it's going to be like a uh, you fight for survival and it's going to be stressful. And you're probably, you know, um, going to go backwards for a certain amount of time. But if you're focused on winter all year round. Nothing can really, you know, nothing really can get to you. Uh, yeah, you'll have, you know, little shortcomings, but the uh, getting up from that is going to be so quick because you were ready this whole time. So, yeah, um, that's super key. And when you uh, focus on progress every day, your life just changes. It changes in so many different ways. But, yeah, I wanted to go through the last six months and uh, share what I've learned, new perspectives, um, and all these things. Um, one thing that definitely is super impactful to me that I realized took my life to the next level was the level of responsibility that someone has in their life. If someone doesn't have much responsibility to take care of, you know, like if it's expenses or if it's like a friendship or if it's family or if it's uh, just like, taking responsibility for errors and judgment that you made in the past and coming to a realization that you were wrong and all these things, then it's, it's going to be a, it's going to be a big issue, right? So, um, you have to be responsible for everything. You have to be responsible for everything. If you're not, if your age doesn't correlate with your level of responsibility, you have to kick it up a notch, take it up a notch. Sorry. Um, because one day you're going to arrive at a certain age and you're going to be like, what am I doing? Why did I waste so much time? We don't get any time back. Time is our biggest asset. Money you can get back, time you cannot. So that's the number one thing you got to take away. Time is your biggest asset in investing and in life. Because you can't, if, if a family member dies or if an um, a animal dies, if an animal dies or a family member dies or um, you don't invest, you're not going to be able to go back in time and make those decisions and buff up things and be like, 
you know, or, or like a network, you know, if you didn't work on a network of people who are, you know, um, motivating and successful and uh, um, all these other things, then you can't go back in time to change that. You can change your reality now, but time is wasted. You can't get that back. So that's that's super important. Um, you got to take on responsibility and you got to, you know, move your life in that direction, because if you don't, then you're just going to you're not going to have the reasons. Um, people who don't have enough reasons, they just don't care. And that's the truth of it. They're going to just play their video games. They're going to do whatever they want, spend all their money, party all day. Um, and that's it. But when you have things to take care of, you become an adult. And an adult, you know, um, you're a baby, you're a teenager, you're a young adult, you're an adult, and then, you know, you get into your uh, older stages. But um, every person wants to be well off in the future. Um, just getting by, th like that mentality of just getting by is like, it sounds like the most stressful reality, you know? not being able to like not knowing if you're going to make it to the next month you know just having enough like life's not about that life's about adventure life's about you know doing everything that you want everything you dream of um so you should definitely do everything to your advantage to put yourself mentally there and to give yourself enough reasons to to to, to do those things to get there so I definitely would say your level of responsibility correlates to your level of success in the future because if you're not responsible, you're not going to do shit. You're just not. You're just not going to do it, and that's that's final. Like, I'm going to put it out there. Um, so that's really important. Um, also, uh, Jim Rohn says it the best. Um, what you're doing... I don't know if actually Jim Rohn says it. Um, yeah, I believe Jim Rohn says it. Um, what you're doing with your money says a lot about who you are as a person. Um, so... If you're working, um, you should be putting money into investments. You don't have to put all your money, but you got to be diversifying yourself in a way where, you know, you're prepared for any outcome. Um, you know, like you can put money in crypto, you can put money in stocks, you can put money in um, real estate, you can put money in, um, you know, investing yourself into books or investing into um, like bonds or mutual funds or whatever. Just put your money somewhere. You know, and don't be so stuck up on these little finicky things. You have to just put your money into things that like will give you a potential return. Because if you're not, if you're just saving, that's that's great, awesome. But time is your biggest asset when it comes to compound interest. And you want to take advantage of that time, especially this time you're here on this planet. So put your money away puts a portion of it into investments so you can get accumulated return by the time you retire one day and you're going to be a lot well off and that's the truth behind it um people who don't they're gonna you know they're gonna struggle and it comes with a <clears throat> a perspective shift too when you're doing that when you're taking care of your finances you know you're you're, you're focusing on your family you're focusing on who you are you're focusing on the decisions that you're making you're, you're trying to be more responsible you're trying to you know um like you're trying to evolve as a human being because i when you're uh, putting your money into different areas and you're you're the man you're, you're the management behind it um you're going to realize the mistakes you're making you're going to realize the um things that you're doing well in and you're going to adapt in those shifting circumstances you're going to pay more attention to the economy you're going to pay more attention to yourself and to like other people really uh so super important um if you're not going to do that, that's another flaw, a huge flaw. Um, another thing is if you're going to relax, set a time limit. Like how many days are you going to relax? You don't just, I'm going to relax, you know, some people just do that. And it's like time is your biggest asset. And if you're not valuing your time and you're just saying, I'm just going to relax or whatever, you're never going to change. Is it a one week? Is it a week and a half? We're not going to go on our sabbaticals and freaking relax for goddamn one month, two months at this age. It's not like you're, why would you do that? It's not time to relax. It's time to get shit going. 
So you have something in your pocket at 35, 40 years old, 30 years old, 50 years old. If you're not doing those things, it's going to be a real struggle. So that's another thing. Um, and you got the a thir a third of all, you have to work hard every single day. With the with this level of inflation, if you're not working hard and you're not trying to evolve and learn new skills along the way, you're gonna it's gonna be a problem. It's it's gonna be a problem. You have to be working as much as you can. I'm not saying everyone, you know, everyone has a family, everyone has a different dynamic in their family, but there needs to be if 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 you relate to what I'm saying, um, you know, um you have to there's someone has to be doing it. Someone has to be doing it or there's going to be problems. So you have to be working hard and you have to be learning new skills. Think winter all year around. If something happens, if your business goes, if, if you're working for someone and then they, uh, that business uh, goes bankrupt, where are you going to go? You, did you learn new skills? What if that it turns into an autonomous business and you, they don't need you anymore? Did you learn new skills? So that's the question you have to be asking. You need to work hard every single day, evolve and adapt to the shifting market environment. But if you're not working hard every single day, then like you're never going to really figure out how like you don't really know what's the most you can really do. What's the most you can produce. So you need to take yourself to the limit to see like the other side of it all. Because some people are relaxed so much that they have this vision of themselves in the future. They're like, it's going to get better. My finances are going to get better. Uh, everything's going to get better. But they don't know. And if you work so hard on something for a few years, you're going to realize this is not for me or this is not going to take me to where I want to be or whatever, etc. So you have to put that work in and get things done. And you can't rely on nobody. Nobody. Only you and solely you. And that is it. You don't need favors. You don't need nothing. It's you against the world. And that's it. You got your family. You know, you want to love your family. You want to take care of everyone and all that good stuff. But when I'm talking about career wise, if you want to make a lot of money and you want to, you know, advance yourself to the next level, you got to put yourself to the extreme. You got to put yourself out there and do as much as you can to learn. And while doing that, learn new skills along the way to see how can I advance my income. Things are not only going to get expensive. Life is only going to get harder if you make it hard for yourself. If you're doing these things and you're like, you know, I'm going to learn new skills. I'm going to think when you're all you around. I'm going to, uh, you know, um, preserve my time and really look at it as your um, the biggest asset that we have. Um, you know, take care of your money. Uh, not go spend it everywhere, um, put it into things that will give you a potential return. Obviously, you can go blow a little cash here and there, whatever, have a good life. But the majority has to go to something. If not, then that's an issue. So, yeah, um, those are three things that I had to really get out there. They're really just boiling in my mind. Um, hopefully, you guys took away something from that because... That's really what has helped me. I'm just speaking from experience. You know, I'm not living the most lavish life by any means necessary, but I do have some credibility. Um, I'm very accountable for my, for for, uh, for the things that I've done well in my life, and I'm very accountable for the things that I've not done well. And I'm very honest, and I'm here to share from experience. And hopefully, that helps you guys as well, whoever's watching this, but mainly help myself. Because when I post this, I get to watch this two years later and be like, wow. Like I, when I made the video of uh, when I first had my baby, I was like, wow. When I was living at my mom's, I was like, wow. I can see the backgrounds. I can see how I was thinking, how I was feeling, and how it was none, none, of, none of it was a waste of time. None of it was a waste of time. When you're focused and you know you, you do the right things, you know what you need to do. But when you don't do it, years go by and it's regret. You have to do things. Read the books, watch the videos, go make some money, invest your money, preserve your time, take advantage of the time you have. 
Everyone has 24 hours in a day. How do you use it? That's up to you. So I really just wanted to make this video and get it out there. Um, I feel like these are so valuable and they make the biggest difference, you know, um, set goals every month um, to be able to look back on them. Even though if you're not gonna accomplish them every, every month, um, if you set them and you keep going after them, one day you're gonna achieve it. 100%, one day you're gonna, going to achieve it. And that's the truth. Because you're gonna evolve into that. If you're so focused, hyper-focused on this thing, not just I'm, I want this. You have to say, this is what I wanna do this month. And you keep going after it. And then sometimes you don't do it, you do it again, you write it again. And you do it for one year straight. At one point, you're gonna get there. And then you set a new standard for yourself. Okay, boom, I wanted to make this much. Boom, I wanted to save this much. Boom, I wanted to make my relationship like this. Or I wanted to, you know, help this person. Or I wanted to uh, start eating healthier. Whatever the case is. At one point, you're going to make that shift because you are focused on it. You know, you got to create that law of attraction in your life where you're focused on the things that you want. The universe doesn't give you what you want. It gives you what you think about. If you're thinking about all the time, one day it's going to happen. And that's the reality behind it. So I hope you guys took away as much as you possibly could from this video because, you know, um, I put I put my energy into it. And this is really exciting for me. And um, a lot has happened in my life in the last six months. You know, like I I had my biggest year last year. I ba basically had my biggest year 2019. Then I had my biggest year 2020. Then I had my biggest year 2021. And I'm going to have my, my biggest year this year compared to last year. So it's like double my income, double my income, double my income. Everything will solve itself. Um, yeah, and that's really what I wanted to touch down on. Um, you know, use your time wisely. Spend time with people who care about you and um, are going to give you also valuable lessons. And work hard every single day. And yeah, like that's... And take responsibility for everything. Every single thing that happens to you in your life, take responsibility. Because if you don't, you're going to be stuck for the rest of your life. If you're complaining about your relationship, if you're complaining about your job, if you're complaining about um, your, your your friendships or whatever, and you don't take responsibility for this, you're always going to have that problem for the rest of your life, and it's never going to change. Everyone is going to be at certain different points in their life, and they're going to take that in different ways. You know, um, their that their level of understanding is going to be different. Everyone's going to perceive this differently. I perceive this differently. Like, um, but yeah. That's about it. So hopefully you guys took away as much as you could. And I love making these videos. Comment if um, you learned anything or whatever. But I appreciate you guys and I appreciate myself the most. Because um, oh, I, I also appreciate my girlfriend because she does so much for me.